G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well, coming through another week, at least I hope we're coming through another week. I'm actually shooting this video like fully a week before it's going to go live and things happen at such a pace at the moment, the world might be unrecognizable by the time this video goes live. I mean, I hope not, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I hope, you know, we're getting closer to some version of normal rather than further away, but I've ceased trying to predict anything that happens in this world. I'll predict one thing. I'm going to keep enjoying cocktails and keep finding excuses to have a particular cocktail. Now, it turns out Friday the 16th is known as Liqueur Day. Now, lots of beverages and specific cocktails have days dedicated to them across the calendar. But this is just a generic liqueur day, which kind of leaves it as a theme wide open for what I could do with cocktail. So what I figured is I, I want to find a drink that has more than one liqueur because lots of cocktails have one liqueur. It's quite common to go spirit liqueur and citrus, for instance. There's a lot of cocktails that follow that format. In fact, some of my favorite cocktails follow that format. So, I, but I didn't want to go there. I thought I've got to find something that has more than one cocktail. And I did a big bit of searching on a few websites and I actually found one that I like the sound of that actually has three liqueurs in it. One spirit and three liqueurs. And in fact, that's it. So it's an all booze cocktail. It's a very desserty one as well. And I don't make that many dessert cocktails. So I thought this will be fun for a bit of change. Use World Liqueur Day as an excuse to make the cocktail that has three liqueurs in it. And we'll see how it goes. This is called an Ambrosia cocktail, uh, in invented by Simon Difford off the Difford's Guide website, a site I get a lot of my inspiration from. Most of the ideas I get come from there. It's not the only uh, cocktail site I go to. The, there are a lot of them on the internet. There's many great sources of information. Uh, but this one comes from the Difford site, the Ambrosia cocktail. And as I said, features three different liqueurs. Perfect for World Liqueur Day. So let's get going. First up, we have the non-liqueur element of this drink, and that's cognac. Uh, the recommendation is a VSOP cognac. One of the weird annotations of uh, cognacs is about how long they've been aged. There is an unaged cognac, it could just be called cognac. Uh, VS is very special. Uh, VSOP is very special. Old pale, which what? Um, OP, I always think overproof with spirits, but it's very special old pile. And then you also get EXO, which is extra old. Uh, and there are all sorts of special rules about cognac. Now, honestly, I often just swap out brandy for cognac, because cognac is just a brandy made in a particular region of France to particular rules. And call me crazy, I don't think uh, French is automatically better in this. Uh, there are some Australian brandies I quite like. There are brandies from all around the world that are quite good, including France, non-cognac brandies. But uh, because I've got some, the, rec the recipe said VSOP cognac, let's go for it. Now this is three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils of our VSOP cognac first in our shaker. Most of the volume in this cocktail comes from Advocat. Advocat is originally uh, a Dutch liqueur, it's egg, and tends to be have a brandy base as well, although there's no rules dictating it has to be a brandy base. It can just be a neutral spirit base as well, but often used in very desserty cocktails uh, because, hey, thick and rich, there's a joke in there somewhere about people who are thick and rich, uh, call them all Advocat. Uh, but, and there's actually two ounces, 60 mils of cognac going into our cocktail shaker. Next up, we have liquor 43, a Spanish liqueur, and it's basically, it's vanilla and spice. Uh, it is again, a really nice, rich flavor, and this is going to go very well with the Advocat, giving it a very desserty feel, I think. I haven't actually taste tested this ahead of time, so when I shake this, pour it, taste it, be the first time I've tasted it, be interesting to see what it's like. Uh, now there's one ounce, 30 mils of the liquor 43 going in. 
The last element in the recipe for this cocktail was 15 mils of yellow chartreuse. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you might be able to guess what I'm going to do next. I'm doing a substitution. This is an Australian liqueur uh, called Okar Gold. It's made in South Australia. They call it their Outback liqueur. It's got a lot of Australian botanicals and spices in it. Uh, it is a very good substitute for yellow chartreuse. It's got a similar process they have their own unique tastes so the drink will actually taste different if you make it with yellow chartreuse or with ochre gold but this is a very good substitute uh, and there is 15 mils of our yellow herbal liqueur going in that's it for ingredients in the cocktail so with ice added we're going to give that a shake now you want to give it a really good hard shake for at least 10 or 15 seconds and this is mainly because the avocat advocat it's quite thick and can separate from the other ingredients. So you want a good, solid, hard shake. We'll make sure the drink's properly blended. Uh, you'll get a nice frothy feel to it as well. And also, it'll be nice and chilled. So let's go see how hard we can shake this. Time to strain it um, using a chilled coupe I had in the freezer. No need to be too fussy with the glassware. You could use a martini glass a Nicanora, whatever you have on hand. I thought this would do well. So uh, just using the Hawthorne strainer, not too worried about fine straining this. There'll be one or two little chips of ice in there from the shaking, but you can see it's a very yellow drink. Uh, and it's, it's quite a rich drink because of the Advocat. It's making up nearly half the volume in here. Um, I don't expect there to be much aroma, and there isn't really, uh, but let's see, taste-wise, what do we got here? Wow, that is really interesting. I kind of expected the Advocat to take over and just have this really creamy sort of drink, and it is, texturally, it is really creamy. But the other elements are, are coming through. Uh, you can taste the cognac and... Mm. Yeah, you get the, you're getting the herbal flavors coming through. That would be a combination of the Ocar Gold or yellow chartreuse, if you use yellow chartreuse, and the liquor 43 that has quite a herbal element. Yeah, for something that kind of looks like a, almost a, a frivolous, desserty drink, bright yellow and quite creamy, there's a lot going on in here. It's quite good. It is, of course, quite boozy, deceptively so. Uh, you can say, well, it's just a dessert in a glass. Uh, not that many desserts make you fall over if you have a couple of them. And this is quite boozy. <laughs> There's no non-alcoholic contents in this particular drink. But uh, yeah, if you like to shake things up with a, a dessert style cocktail now and then, this is a rather good one. Ambrosia, the food of the gods. Uh, well, maybe. It's certainly pretty good. I could kick back with this. No worries at all. Uh, the Ambrosia cocktail. Ooh, yes, and again, it's totally deceptive because it's got the consistency of a really light, fluffy dessert cocktail, but it has a decent kick to it. So, you know, fairly warned be ye, really. Uh, it's worth trying, but it's also bear in mind, it is a pretty boozy drink. So yeah, I'd love to hear if you've tried this or something similar, or what your favorite dessert style cocktail is in the comments. And hey, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you subscribed, hit the little notification bell so you get a notification when I upload. Tell your friends. It's uh, what better way to pass our time in these strange and uh, troubling times than uh, with the occasional cocktail. Uh, personally, it works for me. I hope it works for you. I hope you stay well. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, love to have you back uh, for more cocktail adventures. But for now, I'll say goodbye and cheers.